Hello, everyone. Uh, good morning. And uh, welcome to the, uh, the morning, the, the best morning of CoinGeek yet. And uh, my name is Roy Bernhard, as you know, and I'm here to talk to you about uh, the future of digital assets in a tokenized world. And uh, I'm going to do things a little bit differently. Instead of giving you a technical dissertation with charts and graphs and all that crazy stuff, uh, I'm going to actually tell you a bit of a story to get things started. So just sit back and relax and try and, try and picture the future a little bit. So on the theme of the 8-bit art, we're going we're gonna to stay in this world for a little bit. So picture a world in the not-so-distant future uh, where you and your friend are, are are chilling a little bit. You walk up uh, to a Korean, to the counter of a Korean noodle bar. The smell is sublime. Uh, your friend leans in and orders a delicious bowl of ramen noodles, and uh, and turns to you and uh, says, "You know, this, this neighborhood looks, is looking pretty good." And uh, you start thinking, "You know what? This neighborhood does look kind of cool, actually." You know, I. I remember coming here a long time ago and being absolutely petrified of standing in this neighborhood, thinking that without Rory McDonald by my side, I would not be <laughs> caught dead here. And then you look out and you see a bunch of hipsters now having a good time, laughing and joking in the neighborhood, and you think, man, this, this place is really moving. And your friend, who's slurping away now on a, a bowl of uh, noodles, uh, turns to you and starts muttering some stuff, and you eventually make it out, and he's like, man, uh, this neighborhood is exploding. It's gonna, the, the, the value of the real estate in this neighborhood is going to skyrocket. I, can't, uh, I, I really wish I had a few million bucks to get in on the action, to be a part of this. And so uh, you look at your friend, and uh, you take a bit of a step back. You grab a napkin from the counter, and you carefully wipe away the messy noodles that, that got on his jacket. It uh, happens a lot with you know, ramen noodles. And, and you say, don't worry, my man. I got us covered. So you take a step back and you grab a pair of glasses out of your pocket and you put them on. Nice pair of uh, Omniscape AR glasses, Transmira, you know, AR glasses. And you look out into the city line and you catch a big factory building off, off into the distance. And you reach up and you double tap and then whoosh, up the side of the building, thousands of tiles appear. You tap on four or five of those tiles you scoop them up and you gesture them right into your pocket. And as you turn back around to your friend, just out of the corner of your eye, you look into the distance and you see a bunch of townhouses with a bunch of solar panels on top. You go, well, I know what I can do with that. And you take your finger and you draw a circle around those solar panels. Then you pinch a little line and you drag it over to that building that you just scooped up a bit of. You take a step back, you wait a second, and that line starts pulsing between the solar panels and the building take off your glasses and you put them in your pocket, you turn to your friend who looks at you like you're crazy for woo, doing all this amazing stuff in the sky. And you say, man, I got us covered. I just picked us up $500 worth of that building. And to boot, every time anyone you know walks by this neighborhood, you can tell them that that building is more carbon friendly than any other on the block because you brokered a deal between that, those solar panels way down in the distance in that building. You take a step back, you flip a couple of Satoshis over to the chef, nod your hat, and walk off into the night, a digital financial Jedi. That's the future that, that we envision. And in order to get to that, that future, in order to get to that world, which we think, at Fabric, we think that's completely possible, you need to be able to build a bridge. You need to be able to build a bridge between today and the future. And if you think about the presentations that everyone has given over the course of the past few days, that's fundamentally what people are doing here. They have a vision of what the future looks like, they have a passion and desire to want to get there, and they're, they're working away very hard every single day on building those blocks, on building the pieces that end up forming those bridges into the future so that you can have people cross into the future with you. So Fabric, we also believe in building blocks, and we've spent the better part of the past year and a half focusing on building these blocks, on having blocks that enable companies to be able to achieve their visions, to be able to build their bridges. And for us, that started off with a lot of quiet work, uh, and that, that quiet work is at a tipping point now, which we're very excited to talk about. 
More specifically, though, we've spent a lot of time uh, connecting traditional markets and digital markets and opening up that infrastructure, opening up the fuel you need. So let's say you're playing, you know, fixes crypto fights. In order to do that, you need BSV to power that gameplay. And in order to get BSV, you need to find a way to get the money that's in your bank account and you're in your wallet onto the internet, onto, uh, uh, into those games, into those apps, so that you can, you know, buy BSV and play those games and move things forward. This is a key part of where we're going. And in order to do that, you need to build on top of that with proper trading infrastructure. You need to be able to connect all the sources of liquidity. A lot of things that people don't think about but are, are inherently required to be able to make things fly and be smooth and work. You need to work with a blockchain to be able to future-proof everything that you're doing, to be able to transform things. And you need to work with the BSV blockchain because it's the only blockchain, as we know, at this conference that actually allows you to do amazing things like micro nano transactions that can actually scale the right way. You've heard us talk about our Fabric X NFT platform and how amazing that all works. Uh, and so, so on top of all those fun things, we went out and we built tools to make it easier and easier for the businesses and partners that we're working with to have accessibility. So not just on the trading and B2B side of things, but with tokenization and with payment systems and with storage systems and wallet systems. And with that, we've been able to get to a point where we're finally at, as I'm saying, where now we can hit release after release after release on a regular basis. And we can satisfy our customers and satisfy our partners by offering them some pretty amazing, amazing products and services. But instead of me sitting here and talking a little bit more about that stuff, I'm actually gonna take a, a step to the side and, and play for you a couple of videos from uh, some of the partners that we work with to let you know about some of the stuff that they're doing and how they're working with Fabric and all the fun stuff that we're doing. So to start off, I'm gonna play a quick uh, clip from Robert Rice. Uh, if any of you have been upstairs, or I'm sure all of you have, but go upstairs. Uh, the, they have the coolest tech up there. You can stand on a booth and, you know, awkwardly for 30 minutes, for 30 seconds, get your uh, uh, digital persona put together, and, uh, and it scans your body and you can do some amazing things. And we're really excited to have helped to power some of that, that work. The back-end financial infrastructure for that whole world, the payments infrastructure, the uh, tokenization, and NFT infrastructure, the wallet infrastructure, on-ramps, off-ramps, and we do that through a product that, you know, has been talked about in the community for a few years that people really wanted from us that uh, has been known as server-side money button that is being uh, uh, retooled differently, and they've been an amazing partner to us to be able to, to test that all out. Hi, everyone. My name is Robert Rice, the CEO of Transmira, the developers behind the Omniscape XR platform. I wanted to take a minute and say thank you so much to the Fabric team. They've been collaborating with us uh, to tokenize our system, which includes uh, the Omni tokens, as well as all the cool virtual real estate stuff and some pretty wicked 3D NFTs that we have in development. It's been an amazing experience working with uh, the company so far. Uh, they've just been just super friendly, super helpful, very responsive, and have helped us work through some pretty insane technical issues. Uh, you know, I, I can't say enough about the, how awesome it's been for us to have a, a partner um, to just collaborate with on a lot of you know, new and interesting things. Uh, in any case, I uh, just wanted to say hi. And again, thank you again. Uh, Fabric is, is awesome. And we look forward to a very cool future and a lot of new uh, techie things on BSV happening uh, very soon. All right. Bye-bye. So uh, I'm going to now uh, have a little note again from uh, Adam Kling, who's the CEO of, of Fix. Uh, we work uh, with Fix. We've uh, actually helped them out with a new product that uh, we're releasing today called Weave, which I'll talk about in a few quick moments. CEO and founder of Fix Gaming, we're the developers of CryptoFights. We've been working actually with Fabric to introduce a more streamlined experience for CryptoFights players. We're integrating the new Weave API into the fixed platform to provide BSV liquidity in-app, so our players will be able to swap uh, crypto without actually having to leave the game. And Fabric can customize the tokens uh, player C versus other crypto swap services, which are generic. They offer a minimum transaction size, and because it's on BSV, it's really low fees. I can't wait to launch this excellent product upgrade to our customers. I know they're going to love it. And so a big thank you to the team at Fabric for making this possible. Thanks. 
All right, I'm going to jump uh, quickly. One, one slide. I'm going to jump uh, over. I'm going to actually uh, introduce Weave. So I have the, the pleasure and the honor of representing a team of brilliant people at Fabric that I'm lucky enough to work with on a regular basis who have worked their tails off to be able to introduce you to Weave, which is a simple, comprehensive, complete digital asset exchange. So we took all the power of an exchange and we put it into a little itty bitty teeny weeny little widget or API. And we did that because fundamentally what people need and want is access to liquidity. They need to be able to move things across from the traditional world into the new world, into the new frontier. And so we've focused on doing that in the simplest and easiest way. And so this first release of Weave gives people the ability to move between different digital assets. And it will continue to move and evolve with other types of digital assets that are connected to the real world. We see a world where this, you know, of course, includes fiat on and off ramps. We see a world where eventually you can take an NFT that's connected to a pricing service and swap that out for, say, BSV if it's an in-game currency that you want, where those mechanisms for understanding price discovery and for moving digital assets in the most seamless way happens. I, have a, I highly recommend everyone to run upstairs afterwards to the booth to speak with some of the people at Fabric so that you can get yourselves some API keys and get this going on your websites and, and start using it. Again, there's the API in addition to the actual Weave widget. The Weave widget makes things simpler. The API is a way for people that want to have their own user experience and their own user flow, but still get all the power and functionality. And for those of you who are more technical, for us, this is a big part of our layering strategy, and it's how we're able to service and move really quickly moving forward. So we've taken our core products and services, like our trading API, which connects into the liquidity service that provides liquidity for uh, businesses and for larger enterprises, and we've put on top of that this Weave API, which introduces that functionality in a much more consumer-friendly way. As you guys have heard lots about this, I know, and I, so I won't dwell on this, but FabricX is an amazing, fun, crazy platform that the team has been working on for quite some time. We're quite excited. One of the biggest pieces that we talk about when we talk about FabricX is we talk about how FabricX is not just uh, the same old NFT marketplace. If I can even say that, <laughs> it sounds funny. For us, the most important piece is that it's a curated marketplace. We think that there's uh, so much power to be given in people creating their own NFTs, smaller NFTs, user-created NFTs. We believe in that holistically, and what, that's why we have our tokenization API. That's why we support websites like TokenPow and others that are building NFTs, that are doing things you know, in the market, and we support them with different APIs, and we enable them to build their vision of the future. Our vision of an NFT marketplace is a curated marketplace, and we're taking advantage of some of the relationships that we have with different people in the industry, athletes, celebrities, artists, to be able to create a curated environment. Why curated? For us, the world is filled with so much data. And we're at a point, a pivotal point in the world where what people really need is curation of that data. It's, it's people holding their hands a bit and helping them understand what's valuable or not. And it's, it's to the point and why when you want to go to a restaurant, one of the first things you do is you hop onto a search engine and you take a look at that restaurant and you see what's going on and you ask your friends and you do those things. This is very similar. And you'll be seeing a lot of amazing products coming out of Fabric over the course of the next two, three months, actually, several. that I can't speak about today, but you guys stay tuned. Go to fabric.com and check it out. So just to end things off, I want to uh, say thank you. I want you to understand that you know, we love what's going on. We love the future. We love uh, working on the BSV blockchain. It, act, it has enabled us to, to dream big and do some amazing things. It's enabled us to connect the world of B2B, business to developer, business to, to consumer and enterprise, to bring all those parties together in one place. So on that note, thank you so much for listening to the story. Thank you, and please reimagine prosperity. Bye. Reimagine the world's financial system. One built on being simple and fair, not one that's overcomplicated, outdated and broken, and keeps a quarter of the world's population from accessing it. Reimagine your own finances. 
Do you have full visibility and control of your assets and investments? We believe there's a better way, a new future for financial services, one built on equal opportunity, where possibilities are limitless, not limited, and everyone can live the life to which they aspire. At Fabric, we're weaving a better future of finance for the billions locked out and the billions locked in, a safe, open and fully transparent financial ecosystem built on innovative technology where anyone can transform, hold, trade and grow their assets all in one accessible place. But this journey isn't ours to take alone. Are you ready to join in? To reimagine a better future with us? Where everything is digital and anything is possible. Fabric. Reimagine prosperity. Bitcoin mining, Bitcoin wallet, blockchain, stablecoins, metanet, the evolution of money. Everybody is talking about Bitcoin today, but what exactly is it? Learn the basics from experts. Learn what Bitcoin is, how it works, and why it matters. Bitcoin 101, your ultimate guide to the fundamentals of blockchain.